Hi, my name is Brandon Enright, and I'd like to show a little bit about how to use MeshLab for STL files that contain multiple bodies, um, specifically being able to select bodies and then delete them or merge them. Um, so MeshLab is a little bit tricky to use. It's not really a CAD program. It's more of a viewer slash selector with some mesh repair options. Um, and one of the tricky things about MeshLab and kind of about the STL format in general is that everything is made up of triangles and triangles themselves are made up of three vertices and so MeshLab actually makes a distinction between faces and vertices. So there's a couple select tools you can see along the top. Um, so here's a select tool that selects vertices and so you drag a rectangle and you can see it's selecting vertices but it's not selecting faces. And then there's another tool that selects faces, but not vertices, which there is a distinction. And then there's a tool that does a cool body select, where as soon as you select any, I think it's a vertex, um, then it finds all of the connecting faces and it selects faces. So um, one of the tricky things about this tool is that if you change your view, it will actually select everything behind your cursor or in, within the box. It doesn't pay attention to depth, so watch. And then if we rotate out, we'll see that we actually selected a line all the way through the all of the parts. So let me show, let's say we want we have this STL and we want to delete out this part. So what we can do is we can select that part. Now, if we just hit delete on the keyboard, that will not have done what we think it did. We actually deleted the faces without deleting the vertices. And you can see that when you go back to the vertices select, there's still a bunch of ghost vertices for that part hanging around, which you don't want. Um, and so there's a couple ways to do it. So I'm going to revert. I'm going to reload this file. And if you go up to this in the body select tool, we select the whole body. There's a couple options. One, we could go to filters and then we go to selection and we can select the vertices from the faces. Now, when we apply that filter, we now have vertices and faces selected. Now, when we hit delete, we just got rid of faces, but not vertices. So we don't want to do that either. Um, let me reload. Let me go to the body select tool. And you can actually, if you look at the description, delete current set of faces verti and vertices that remain unreferenced are not deleted. Delete the selected, the current set of selected faces and all the vertices surrounded by that faces, which is pretty much what we want. So we delete that and we actually got rid of all of the vertices too. So when we select, you see there's no more ghost vertices. So that's one way to eliminate bodies from within a multi-body STL file. There is another way when you want to delete all of the, you want to delete everything else. So let's say we want to make an STL with just this part. Actually, let's pick a different part just for the heck of it. So we want to STL this corner. Alrighty, so I think we probably selected that corner without anything behind it, yet we have just that corner selected. Well, there's another cool thing. If you double click on a vertex, um, MeshLab will recenter the rotation to that vertex. And then if you don't like the control that you get, or say you want to center right here, which there's no vertex, so double clicking won't help you, you can actually middle click and drag, and middle click and drag will allow you to change the center. So we're gonna look over here. Um, and, and so what we can do is we can select, let's select the vertices from these faces. Okay, filters, select, vertices from these faces. Alrighty, so now we have the faces and the vertices selected. Now if we invert the selection, filter, selection, and then we invert the selection, and we if we invert both vertices and faces, then we have inverted, we've gotten rid of everything except for what we had selected. Now we can delete all the selected faces and the vertices, and bam, all we have left is just the part that we wanted with no stray vertices or faces. And then we can go, you know, file, export mesh as, and you can export it as an STL file. And so in this way, this is how I, this is how I 
took this STL, which is exported from SolidWorks, and I extracted out each one of the individual parts, and then I was able to pack them in Tom's part packer, part stacker, multi skew packed, and ended up with this, which is all the parts sort of packed into a relatively confined space. And if if I had generated, say, a center box around this, I could select the center box with the body select tool, you know, so let's pretend that's the, the center box, and then I could go, like, well, you have to, to re-rotate, you have to deselect the tool. Oops, and I selected too much. So what you want to do is you want to carefully get the view just so that you're selecting one part. Um, then you can delete the center box around it if, if, if you want to. Um, and another thing you can do when you, when you import a so let's let me show let me show this and this is this is not the most precise thing but here I'm going to import a corner okay so I'm, I'm importing a corner and now I'm going to import a another part so I'm going to import another mesh and let's do the core okay so now we have the mesh and the core um, and you can actually if you select the um, Oh, I forget why this is the case. There's a way to drag the pieces together, and I don't remember how to do it anymore. Um, so I guess I'll have to show that in a different video. Manipulator tool, maybe? Press T to translate. Oh, there we go. So now I'm translating. Now, I'm actually translating in a, in a two-dimensional plane and so this the translation that you do is highly highly dependent on your particular view so you know if you wanted to translate these two close together you go to the translator tool oh you need, we need to actually select the other one and I forget how to alternate between the two different meshes but there's a way to do it um, maybe it's this tool point selection no pick points the whole manipulator measuring I, I don't remember how to do it but long story short the most recent thing that you import um, is the thing that will be selected by default and so you could actually sort of manually place the center box around the parts you, you'd have to do it multiple times so you'd have to change your view several times and wrote you know and translate in a plane in order to get it sort of eyeball centered because this is not a CAD tool it doesn't it's not an engineering tool that gives you precise controls but you can totally place it and you can eyeball it um, and it'll work just fine and I've, I've actually placed parts that way several times so that's sort of the basics of of selecting in mesh lab and deleting parts and, and and merging them together and if you actually get the uh the coordinates of where these pieces are centered correct when you export them you don't even need to move them around as you saw when we um Im, you know when we imported the the core and the corner they did not go on top of each other because they'd already been offset from the origin so that's the basics um, and that should allow sort of simple manipulation of STLs with MeshLab for, for you know, merging bodies or deleting bodies, that sort of thing.